Hey everyone, I wanted to do a study on understanding dispensations. If you understand dispensations in the Bible, it will help you make sense of the Bible a lot better. Now, many times the Bible seems to be full of contradictions and mysteries, but when a reader understands that the Bible has clear dispensations or eras of revealed knowledge, and that each of these dispensations should be divided from the others, then interpretation of the Bible becomes clear and the contradictions go away. For example, should a Christian today eat pork, give to everyone who asks of them, and always turn the other cheek? How can a believer today be forced to bring all the tithes into the storehouse, according to Malachi 3 verse 10, and also not give under compulsion, but as he has purposed in his heart, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 9? And so I wanted to go with the uh, aids, the visual aids here, some of the dispensations that the Bible talks about to give up, you guys, a little more clarity in how to study your Bible. So we have innocence, conscience, human government, the old covenant, covenant, the cross, the church age in which we are currently in, the tribulation period, and then we'll talk about the millennial reign and the new heavens and the new earth. Now, it's very important to understand how God dealt with his people in different dispensations. Because when you read the Bible, we are called to rightly divide the word of truth according to 2 Timothy 2 verse 5. If we do not rightly divide the word of truth, if we take things out of context, apply things in different dispensations to other dispensations, there will be much confusions and apparent contradictions. But we know that the word of God goes together. We know that it flows perfectly. And then all of it from Genesis to Revelation is God's word. Now, being in the church age, we are in the age of grace in which a man is saved by grace through faith. In the Old Testament, they were saved by faith alone. We will enter a period called the tribulation period here soon. And as you can see from this chart here, we have free will. Obviously, God does not want robots. And you can see how we went from conscience to government to promise to law to grace to the kingdom age. Now, being in the grace age, we know that the next thing to to end this dispensation will be the rapture of the church. When the bride of Christ is taken, then we'll begin the age of the tribulation in which the Antichrist will be able to rule for seven years. It's called Jacob's trouble. And at the end of the seven years, we know that's when Jesus comes back and starts the kingdom age in which he will rule for a literal thousand years. So you can see all the way from the back, from the book of Genesis to the end of Revelation, we have a perfect, uh, clear distinctions of times and epochs and seasons that God has dealt with man. And when you try to understand the Bible within these dispensations, it clears it up. I can't go into detail with everything, but I wanted to provide these visual aids. Here's a more clear. You have the age of innocence in Genesis 2 and 3. You have conscience from Genesis 4 to 8. You have government from Genesis 9, the Tower of Babel, the flood. Genesis 12 to 50 is the promise. And then you have law, which is Israel was constantly under law, ceremonial law, and all the different laws in Leviticus that are really hard to read. And then you see that Christ came to fulfill the law and that the Israelites were scattered abroad to the earth. And now we have the church, which is made up of Jew and Gentile, which began in the uh, the book of Acts, chapter 2. And it goes into Revelation 3, where it talks about the seven churches and the end of the church age. Now, Israel will be uh, picking up their program again with the Lord, or the Lord, I should say, should be fulfilling his promises in Israel in that seven-year great tribulation from Revelation 6 to 18. Israel will repent. Uh, They will, uh, a third of the nation of Israel will be saved at the second coming. And then we will see Christ establishing his thousand year millennial reign. Now here's another aid, seven dispensations. We have a Gentile, an Israel, a church, and a Christ. So it's very uh, very interesting from eternity past to eternity future. We see innocence, conscience, human government, promise, law, the cross, where all our sins were nailed to the cross. Now we're in the church age, the age of grace, where we're saved by grace through faith. Again, the red uh, arrow points to the rapture that begins the seven-year tribulation period. And then we come back with Christ 
in the armies of heaven to establish the thousand year millennial kingdom. After the thousand year millennial kingdom is the great white throne judgment in which all the dead who do not know Christ will be judged according to the things written in the books, according to Revelation chapter 20. And anyone who is not found in the Lamb's book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. And then we proceed to eternity future, where the Bible says in 2 Peter that the God will create the heavens and the earth anew, and there will be no more sin, no more curse, and Jesus Christ will be fully glorified in all these things. So again, study your dispensations.